in the previous video I was telling you that um, we will not focus on uh, parsing uh, uh, logs with uh, Logstash so I will make a special video for this one and if you remember well enough uh, we had a, a tag for uh, grok parse failure because uh, that uh, default log uh, it didn't um, work because it didn't match our uh, message right now we will try to do something with this one for example this log we will take it kibana has a grok debugger and we can find it in here so you need to go to dev tools and then uh, grok debugger and here we will uh, put our uh, sample or log message and our log message is very similar to an uh, Apache log message we will not work that much uh, let's go first to the CLI and in here we will gonna go to etsy log stash conf b and our syslog configuration file and let's take this um, this first field regarding the syslog timestamp and I'm gonna put it in here not in here but on the web interface so I pasted it in here and right now we will click on simulate and as you can see this one works fine and because I already have a pattern for uh, Apache I'm gonna use uh, my field and for example for the next one we have a word here so we will take this one hit a space first and then enter this one with colon as you can see it in here simulate and right now we will have an IP address and this is for the client IP that is trying to access the uh, some uh, function in the web interface for pfSense and actually this is uh, this is my client IP from my local PC okay so it's working fine then we will need to escape these two characters and you can do it with backslash and then in here we have some kind of uh, HTTP method, the HTTP version and uh, some kind of uh, HTTP response and then this is the response size in bytes deal first with um, another timestamp and actually we don't want this timestamp right here because we already have ours it's just the same, it doesn't really matter uh, to, to have an extra field so I'm gonna uh, name this field unwanted so let's simulate and in the uh, unwanted field we will gonna we will not have anything for the double codes we will also need to escape them with uh, backslash so I'm gonna do two times double codes because we have one in here and one at the end and I'm just gonna take my fields okay and here we were gonna have a backslash at the end for the double code so everything looks okay let's test it out and it works we have the HTTP version the method okay what's next the response size the HTTP response and then the URL, uh, let's just do it this way, let's put a space, let's focus on these two numbers right now, let's test it again to see if it works, and we have the response size, we have the response, the HTTP response, and then we have the URL uh, in here in double code, so I will just take it for the next one, 
and I'm actually going to refer this, um, I'm going to delete this, this refer field and name it URL. Okay, hit space and then we will need to add something for the agent right here, which is the web browser. And for that one, we can do it like uh, this. Again, with double codes. So we will name this one um, agent simulate and indeed we have it. So we have the request, we have the agent, uh, we have the URL and everything looks fine I think. Actually it's, let's keep it to refer. Okay, let's test again and it works fine. Good, so right now that we have this uh, rock pattern, we can modify our pipeline. And in here, I'm gonna hit an enter. Then I will take this one right here. So maybe we have more, yeah, we have more because of the curly brackets. Let's go back to this one. And in here, I'm gonna delete everything that we have here. And replace it with our drug pattern. I will select everything, copy it, and then paste it in here. We need uh, another code uh, or another double code to end it. And then let's close the, the curly brackets. I think we've done it right. So we have a curly bracket which is opening the field and then we need to close it. Okay, and then it looks okay. And uh, if you remember well enough, uh, let me show you in the web interface. We had a field that uh, which we don't really want to do anything with it. So let me just uh, remove this one. And the way you can um, remove a field uh, would be to do with, with instead of add field, remove field. Just as simple as that. Okay, and then the field that we would like to remove, which is unwanted. And for the second rock pattern, let's do something with this one too. Let's keep it only to syslog timestamp and then whatever comes, put it into syslog messages. We will keep everything from that one. And right now we should be ready to go and our uh, grog parse uh, failure should uh, disappear. I will save this one and restart our log stash. Stamp city restart log stash. Okay, it's running, it's started. Uh, let's do a tail in the logs and see what's happening exactly. So previously it was shut down and right now we are waiting to come back up. And now we see that everything is okay, it started. Uh, let's go back to our uh, Kibana interface. Uh, 
and let's go to discover and in here in the last uh, uh, two minutes uh, we have received uh, some logs so let me refresh this ones and as you can see everything is uh, parsed and uh, looks very nicely you can see the agent you can see the balancer working the client ip host http version message the whole message actually the referring uh, the response this is the response where is the response size actually here it is so three five five seven okay so let's try to do the response size and we will able to see the values in here the top five values and we can add it here we will see the values that we have in here and let's do also the um, syslog message for example and then you can see it in here too then we also have the tags uh, the types now let's search for uh, some type of messages like let's say response size keyword uh, by the way, here you have two options. You can uh, do response size and uh, get the results that uh, contain uh, the field response size. Or, for example, you can do a keyword for response size followed by a calling. And then uh, it will highlight you some uh, numbers that are already in there. So let's just do 132. And see how many messages we have with response size 132 yeah and we have quite a lot of them uh, 10 and yeah you can uh, see it in here thanks for watching if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button subscribe and talk to you guys in the next one